Hey guys, and welcome back to ESFI's NASL Season 4 coverage. Week 7 has come and gone, so let's take a look at some of the results, starting with Division 1. Solidifying their spots near the top, Polt and Masa won their respective matches against Alive and Hasua. Red, in a match at the bottom of the group, bested Morrow, bringing his total win-loss to 2-4. Moving on to Division 2, the only match to be played was Xenio's victory over Cloud. Unfortunately, Select's recent retirement removed the top player in that pool. The spot was quickly filled, however, by Hyun at 6-0. In Division 3, Beastie Cutie's victory over Straylock and Dark's victory over Gonzi came as no surprise. Violet's victory over Hero, however, solidified his position in first and showed his strength against the skilled Korean. Division 4 had only one game played this week as well. Shet's victory over Huang Sin didn't come as too much of a surprise following his victory over MC the previous week. It'll be interesting to see how his position in this group progresses as he's currently tied for second in the division. Lastly, Division 5 saw Finale maintain his position at rank 1 with the victory over Damaga. TT1 won his series against QXC, giving the Canadian his second victory this season and Stefano vs. The Muslim provided to be a close match with the victory going to Stefano. Let's take a quick look at how the French Zerg vested one of the most dominant Terrans in the league. Game 1, taking place on Abyssal City, the newest map in NASL's rotation, had both players take an early expansion and begin to tech up. The Muslim, with a strong force of Blue Flame Hellions, attempted to harass and deny Stefano's third but the Great Roach response rendered the heavy investment worthless. Taking to Hive early, Ultralisks moved to pressure the Muslim's third and gain a positional advantage against his fourth. Stefano committed to the attack when the Muslim fought for map control and forced a base trade situation that the mech forced that the Muslim could not combat. In Game 2 on Daybreak, both players took their naturals early, but the Muslim aimed for a greedy 3-orbital opening an early Roach push punished the build heavily, putting the Terran in a desperate situation at a 30 worker deficit. Stefano followed up with a combination of Roaches, Zerglings, and Banelings at the Muslim's third to finish the job. The attack proved too much, and the Muslim tapped out. That's all for this week's coverage of NASL Season 4. Thank you for watching, and make sure you check out ESFI for all our esports updates. This is Jin, signing out.